In the Dig Hewer sessions today, we have looked at techniques that you can deliberately apply to improve and sharpen your critical thinking skills. But we need to think about those situations where you don't have the luxury of time to apply these techniques. Those time critical, pressured situations where you have to make a decision on the basis of very little conscious reasoning. Now, this is where the power of the subconscious comes into play. So what is your subconscious? If I ask you to flex your arm, then you can concentrate on making the relevant muscles contract. If I ask you to catch a ball, then you'll be concentrating on the ball. But when you go to catch it, your muscles will contract regardless, without you even having to think about it. And that is your subconscious. We instinctively know that we need to contract our muscles to catch a ball because of practice. And it's no different when it comes to thinking and reasoning. In his book, Blink, Malcolm Gladwell argues that it takes 10,000 hours to make an expert. Specifically, that's 10,000 hours of practice in a particular industry, profession or field of study. Whilst the validity of the theory is very much still up for debate, I do think there is something to be said for practice and how strongly we can trust our subconscious reasoning. Would I have trusted my gut instincts at the start of my career? Maybe not. Did I trust it 10 years in, in critical situations? Absolutely I did. Sometimes you need to have a little faith in yourself and your own experience and understanding of events in order to make the best use of subconscious reasoning. But it also helps if you have a good understanding of memory and how information is organised in our minds. And that brings us back to Dick Hewer and the psychology of intelligence analysis, because chapter three is all about that. So if you're interested in understanding your subconscious reasoning better, then I would suggest going and reading that chapter from the book. As always, thanks for watching.